happens with 24-7 professional monitoring. Simple, easy, awesome. This is BBC World News America. Funding of this presentation is made possible by the Freeman Foundation and Judy and Peter Blum Kovler Foundation, pursuing solutions for America's neglected needs. Wow, that is unbelievable. And now, BBC World News. This is BBC World News America reporting from Washington. I'm Jane O'Brien. Another blow for the British Prime Minister. Her Brexit plans are rejected yet again on the very day that the UK was supposed to leave the European Union. This government will continue to press the case for the orderly Brexit that the result of the referendum demands. The big question now, what comes next? As the clock ticks down, we'll lay out the options. And blackouts have plummeted Venezuelans into even more hardship. The opposition is calling for people to come out in protest. Welcome to World News America. Today was supposed to be the day the UK left the European Union. But instead, there were more dramatic scenes inside Parliament as MPs voted for a third time to reject Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit deal. As things stand now, departure day is April the 12th, when Britain faces leaving with no deal. Or it could ask Brussels for an extension, which might be a long one. The BBC's political editor, Laura Kinsberg, starts our coverage. such an iconic day. It is March the 29th. What do you want? Brexit! What do you want? Now! This is a great failure, but we are not leaving at 11 o'clock this evening. Crowds on the march to push Parliament to get on with it. It's a thoroughly bad idea and it deserves to be defeated today. On the day that we were due to leave... Shame on 